Hello, um, good morning, good afternoon here. Uh, once again, welcome back to my channel. I remain my humble self, African Amateur. Thanks to all my viewers at home. Uh, it's been roaming on my head for some few days now. The news that has been coming is about Mudu drinks and alcohol due to Nagaland is a dry state and it's a Christianity state. First of all, I respect the fact that Nagaland is a dry state and a Christianity state. And uh, what I'm kindly trying to figure out is that it may sound so rude to some people due to business line. And the other way around, it's going to be like an uh, advantage for Nagaland, the way they said it's a dry state also. Number one, the uh, disadvantages and the point I'm trying to bring out in this is that Nagaland is a dry state and a Christianity state. I accept that. But their neighbor, which is Assam, is where the alcohols come into Nagaland. So now, the only means and way this can be stopped is for the government to put a very strict person at the entrance of the Nagaland gate or anywhere there is border. That is number one, that any alcohol that comes into Nagaland should be seized immediately and broken or to be reported to the police station. That is number one. And number two, as we Africans do say, one road doesn't enter into one market. Like, for example, you're going to uh, New Market, you can go through Railway, you can go through Dobinala. There are a lot of places you can go through that. So even the government tries to block the entrance, which is the Nagaland gate, still there will still be a shortcut where even water will come into Nagaland. So that is it. So I don't really know what to say much more about this, but stopping the alcohol again, it's kind of funny. If you stop people from drinking alcohol in Nagaland, some people are already addicted to alcohol. They will go to Assam, get themselves high in Assam, drink as many alcohol they want to drink in Assam, and when they come back to Nagaland, Nagaland will be the one to take the Ultapalta side, which is the, you know, the, what, the, the Nasha zone. Because it's going to like, after drinking in Assam, then they will come to Nagaland to now display the, the drunkenness. So please, whatever the government is doing is that, I don't know how to put this, and I'm not in the right position to say it. At the same time, I just have to say it. If anybody is drinking alcohol, let there be limit. Clubs is, I think, most places in the whole world, but they are trying to bound the club here in Nagaland. Even they are not bounding or stopping the club here in Nagaland, there should be a fixed time for their advantage. Because, you know, this life, everybody wants to make money. Everybody wants to survive and sustain for the family. So we can't use because of something to spoil other people's business. If you're taking alcohol, please, it is written there, above 18. Even above 18 people now, when they drink it, they behave like 16. So please, when taking alcohol, know your limit. That is what they call maturity. And if you're not taking alcohol, you stay at home and drink juice. And please, for those who are taking alcohol, limit it or you stop it. Please, liver, biase, kidney, biase. Heart, Biase, lungs, Biase, at the end, Pesa Kae. So please, it's for you guys' advantage. So, um, this is just the little I can say. Please, let there be limits of everything. Because many people, when they get drunk, they start causing nuisance. Nagaland is a nice place with a good reputation. But at the same time, these people, when they drink, they cause nuisance. You know, really, in the club, I have been there. So I have to say the fact. I have been in the pub. Most people who come to the club, they go outside and drink. And when they are drunk, they just come to the club and buy just one bottle and start causing nuisance. Yes, I have seen. Yeah, because uh, our African uh, uh, proverb says, the leg that walks very fast, the eyes that sees very fast also sees. So they go outside, get themselves drunk, and come back to the club and just buy one bottle and start causing nuisance. So please, when it comes to alcohol, drink less or stop it. So government, I know you will try your possible best, but 
it's very hard to eradicate. Really, it's just like eradicating poverty from a state and a country. This that is very hard. So, okay, just let them limit it or drink responsibly, please. Because even though you block Nagaland Gate, block every borders where the alcohol will come from, still there is some loopholes where the alcohol will come from. And then still there are some ways some people will still bring it. So this is just what I have to share to the audience out there. So thank you, Nagaland government. Thank you for what you all are doing to eradicate alcohol and then some other prohibited things in Nagaland. And may God give you people the strength, the ability, and the grace to get this done. All these are asked through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Thank you once again, my viewers. Thank you, my subscribers. And God bless you all for being with me all this while. Have a good day. Bye.